guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, I'm Cheryl and do subscribe to me because I'll be making fashion videos every week. And today's video is another haul. It's a collective try on haul which I've been collecting since the start of this year. So bear with me, there'll be quite a bit to get through today but I'm pretty sure you'll want to see them because I have some interesting stuff going on there. So enjoy and without further ado, let's go into the haul. So I forgot to mention that all this stuff that I found um, from non-high street fashion stores so they are not Forever 21, Tent, Cotton and Cotton stores They are either pre-loved items or designer brands But obviously I can't afford designer designer brands like Chanel But I always try to support uh, small designer brands if I can afford So let's start with Mediacorp Warehouse Sales uh, If you're not from Singapore, you probably wouldn't know what Mediacorp is. They are basically a broadcasting network company. So they do radio, TV, magazine news, all those media stuff. And they were having a warehouse sales because they were shifting to another location. So I guess all these leftover clothes are from previous shoots that the actors and actresses wore and they don't want it anymore. So the things there were like dirt cheap and I was so happy to find a few Stuff. So the next item is this vintage printed top. I really love the mock neck style. I've been obsessed with this trend since the internet trend came about. And the material is quite thick. I maybe a bit too thick for Singapore's weather, but you know I'm still gonna wear it. And actually this is from the brand Zara and I only got it for five bucks, which is such a steal. My next item is this lace top. It's definitely quite simple. So I'm planning to wear this with some nice bralette underneath or maybe just a black strapless bra underneath this and tuck it into some uh, high-waisted jeans and I'm good to go. Next, I've got this super long um, trench duster coat, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it's in this uh, brown colour. Uh, I was actually already chewing up to pay for the rest of the stuff that I've gotten and then I saw this on the rack and I quickly ran to there and took this out, took this off the rack and actually it doesn't really fit me that well you can see in the try on part the shoulders are a little too big for me I tried going to the alteration and ask the, the person whether she could alter this but she said it's not possible so I don't know if I should keep this or I should like give it away but nonetheless I really love the colour and I would totally wear this if the shoulder wasn't so awkward looking on me. Moving on to accessories, I got this vintage eyelet belt. I love vintage anything so when I saw it I was like yes! And I know the eyelet trend is like everywhere. You see it on dresses, on tops, even the lace-up trends they use uh, eyelets. Yeah, I predict that this will be a super huge trend in the months to come so I'm really happy that I got this before everyone else does. And this last item I'm so excited about because, oh my god, you will not believe it, I still can't believe it that I got a pair of Jeffrey Campbells. Oh my god. And it's the, the Healer's Heels. I think they are called the Night Walker which was really big back in... I remember seeing this everywhere on Tumblr and I was like oh my god how do people walk in this and I obviously did not have the money and still today not have the money to buy this pair of heels and I'm really happy that I found this for two bucks oh my god two bucks and I was like are they gonna charge me more expensive because this is like designer shoes but no they were selling all shoes at two dollars and this is like really new because like they're not fading so you can tell that I don't know it's really really brand new and so that is it for my media called haul the next item I'm going to show you is from the Young Hungry Free Flea Market and I found this pair of shorts which are pre-loved and they were going for only two bucks I really love the colour you know I'm leaving the whole like neutral colour scheme I don't know what print you call this maybe oriental okay 
Okay, so this next piece is from somewhere which you wouldn't normally expect to find nice things from. But it's this place called Song and Song. For you Singaporeans, you should be familiar with it. It's found mostly at Heartlands of Singapore. I found this top that I'm wearing right now for only $3. Like, look at the back. It's like so open. And I'm just planning to wear this with some bralette underneath. And look, oh, so damn cute. To wear this in my upcoming trips to Vietnam. For the next few items that I'm gonna show you, they are from this app called Carousel. And no, I'm not sponsored. <laughs> so yeah, I was just bought the other day and I was scrolling through Carousel. And if you're not Singaporean, you wouldn't be familiar with this app. So basically, it's an app that you can um, sell things, really random things. Usually I go there to buy pre-loved items and sell my stuff. If you wanna look at the stuff that I'm selling, please check me out at Tofu Mei Mei. It would be greatly appreciated if you buy something. Anyway, the first item from Carousel is this uh, silky blue cam top, which I'm really obsessed with this colour right now. I went to alter the straps because it was too long for me. I have a really, I am really petite, so... Yeah, and I'm planning to DIY this top. Like put some uh, floral patches on it. Cause you know the floral embroidery trend is so huge right now. But I'm not willing to pay 20, 30 or even more for just extra two patches that I can easily DIY. So stay tuned, I'll be doing a DIY video. And next I might be a little late on this trend, which is the sleep-on dresses, but I found this really dress and it only cost me three thirty. You ask me why that person charge it that price? I don't even know why. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to the designer pieces which I found. Like I said earlier, I can't afford a Valentino, Chanel, whatever. So I'm just supporting like a uh, small designer brands and yeah, they have really unique stuff. And the best thing is that they can customize to your size and that's really important for me. Because When brands say that they can like customize to my size. So the first place I want to mention is this store that I came across on TikTok, and they are called Yao or Yao Yi Handmade. I apologize for pronouncing it wrongly, but they are spelled A L B Handmade. So if you want to check them out, please do so. So the first item that I got is this uh, bralette, which is really cute, and it's made of like a silky material in this dark shade of blue which I really love and there's like uh, rose gold details in the middle and adjustable straps which are so important for potatoes like me <laughs> and then this next item still from the same place up handmade um, I got this uh, royal blue the color looks so pretty on me yeah but I got this uh, bodysuit swimsuit but I don't think this for a swimsuit so I'm just gonna wear it as a bodysuit but yeah it has two super long uh, straps for you to tie so you can tie this top a bunch of different ways so excited to style this the only annoying thing about this bodysuit is that when you want to pee you have to untie the whole thing and pee you like then I have to retie again it's so so annoying we are finally at our last stop, which is Mod Parade. If you didn't know, I work there, so do check out Mod Parade. If you do, stop by Haji Lane. So the first item that I got is this wrap style bralette. Okay, it looks so it looks so weird on camera, but you'll see on the trial part. It's so so cute. I'm gonna wear that bralette as a crop top because I am super petite and from the ET. So, which means that I can get away with wearing bralettes as crop tops. So if you didn't know that Mock Parade it has a curated section on the second level. So this uh, bralette is from an Indonesian brand called Green. It fits me really well, very flattering. Last but not least is 
this uh, sheer dress which oh my god look at it so sure you can see me yeah I got this super sheer dress from a mod Korean and it's from the brand called Lizzie it's also another Indonesian brand I wore this on my birthday and with the bralette that I bought from Elf and it was such a cute combination I love it it's so risky I'm just super into the sheer trend right now I might even do a trend look on this in my upcoming video and yeah that wraps up my haul so I hope this video did not bore you out because there was quite a lot to get through today but also hopefully you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you haven't and also comment down below if you have anything you want to ask me or just comment which is your favorite item from this haul and I'll see you real soon in my next video. Bye!